Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagno. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And I've been away for the summer vacation, so now I'm coming back in late September with a new live demonstration of the 3D experience release 19x on cloud. And today's video is about how we can deal with a markup and slide with de design review application and drawing. So here I have a basic assembly composed of two parts. It's a ball joint with a male and a female part, uh, one blue, one yellow. Uh, I have made some engineering connection. Here we can see there is a fix and also a spherical connection between the two spherical uh, solid here. Okay, and now I will create a markup. Okay, so we will make different slides to show different position of the assembly. Okay, let's call the markup markup position, for example. As you can see, it's directly inserted in the assembly here. Okay, and it's empty, so we will switch to Design Review application. So Design Review is a Nenovia application. I put it in my favorite apps here. It's easier. And you have here a slide button. And the first thing I do myself is I take this as the original. So I don't move the part, I just keep it and I call it original. I prefer that way. So then I can always reuse it later in my drawing. So I call it original. And again, I will make a new one here. And this one we can call modify or moved, in that case, I'm going to move the two different parts. Okay, very important here. Now we need to click on apply this slide. So we are working on move and I will select this robot and move my part. Okay, so now we break the connection, of course, but it's only on, a, on this step. And I will click on update slide, meaning that now when I move between the original and moved uh, position, I have two different slides. Okay, uh, we can do also something else. I'm coming back to original because I can use it as a, a beginning, okay? And I can create a new slide from this one. Okay, as you can see, so apply slide. I'm sure I'm working on this one. And now we will just hide the one of these, the female or the male. So I will select this one and select hide, okay? so. I can just rename this slide male only. Okay. And remember to update the slide. And now if we go back to original, we come back to that point. And I will create another one, another slide. I move to this one. And in that one, I will select uh, the other parts that I will hide. Okay. And rename it. Here it is. And remember to update the slide. Well, uh, okay. So now we have four different steps, four different slide: original, move, and we hide the yellow, and then we hide the blue. Okay, great. And remember that we are still in design review here. So you to go back to the assembly you need to unset current the markup. Okay, and as you can see, the red dot disappear, and now we are back in assembly, uh, and we, are, we can edit the, the engineering connection, etc. Now, the second part of the video is to work with the drawing. So we insert the drawing in the assembly directly. Okay, drawing all joints. I click on OK. I will switch to my drawing. Great, we are in drafting app here. Well, it might be a bit too big in that case, but it's okay. And we just continue. What I like to do myself is always bring the, the assembly, the, the basic assembly in the drawing. So ball joint, and you select ball joint. You can also select the part directly, but here I want ball joint. Uh, and of course you have to select uh, plane huh, to, to get the view so don't worry you can modify this later as you can see here we can still modify the, the orientation etc 
Uh, but as soon as you click here, then it's done. We are back in the drawing now. Uh, it's frozen. Or it's not completely frozen. We can modify it, but here it's kind of frozen. Okay, so we know that this view is linked to the wall assembly. Now we want to bring a view from the slide. Uh, an easy, one easy way you can do, I think you have already seen one of my videos dealing with it. I can just bring the isometric view if I want to and just select the slide. Uh, let's take this one, for example. Okay, and select the, the, the assembly. Okay, great. Here it is. Uh, I have uh, an exploit view in isometric. But now let's take another, another view. Simpler, I will take front view this time of uh, the original, okay? And I will select this plane here. Excellent, oops. I will just select 180 degrees. Great. So here it's very important. You have to understand that this one is the main assembly with no slide. And this one is actually the original slide. And here in this case, it's exactly the same. But here, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about moving from one slide to another in a drawing. So let's put uh, a dimension. We can measure the distance between these two elements, 120 millimeter. And let's say, for example, you want to modify that to another slide. You can see here, I have to go to the object, modify links. Here I can see that it's based on original okay and you click on that to put it to the wall assembly to go back to the step before and now we can switch to moved for example okay and normally now we are back in the drafting now it sees well three element added to to the selection i click on the plus here and now we switch from original to moved and when i click on okay Nothing happened, of course, you have to update your drawing. And as you can see now, it has been updated and it kept also the dimension. Well, that's it for today. I think it was uh, interesting to deal with a uh, slide, especially in drawing, if you want to hide part. It's, it's very easy, it's a different way compared to filter, uh, but it's very simple to use. Just remember to really uh, use well the uh, uh, apply slide and update slide it will uh, it's you have to deal with that it's a bit annoying sometimes but uh, once you understand it works perfectly okay so that was it for me today thank you very much for following this video do not hesitate to uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and i hope to see you again very soon thank you very much goodbye